Africa's first Confucius Institute was launched in the Kenyan capital Nairobi in 2003. Today, 38 can be found in 32 countries, with more than 50,000 students enrolled. And in Africa alone, the institutes held over a thousand cultural exchange programs last year. It's a brilliant idea to introduce the Chinese culture to African countries through Confucius institutes better than in other places. Forty years ago, China was experiencing quite a similar situation to that of the continent. And today, China is already the second largest economy. So to many Africans, it's more practical to follow the Chinese development model than a Western one. The institutes are a way for locals to learn about Chinese language and culture, and for Zhu, more are needed. I hope China-African ties can be further promoted alongside strengthened bilateral ties. We should seize more opportunities as long as there is demand for Chinese institutes or academies. We will do our best to meet that need. A faster and better development model is what I expect from the Confucius Institutes. With ties between Africa and China growing stronger, Confucius Institutes are set to become an increasingly important part of their cultural exchange in the years to come. Clementine Logan, CCTV.